Coral, and I'm in Fort Worth, Texas to go to the Marijuana March. This is my elevator, let's go. We are headed to the park right now where I will be answering questions from World Reefers for a very special episode of Stony Sunday, and I also get a chance to speak on stage today. Thanks for watching. I'm here with Matt, who actually won the prize pack earlier. What did you shout? What was the phrase? Overgrow the government. Woo! So you got your new hat, your new shirt, your glasses. I love that you put this on right away. Absolutely. Amazing. Absolutely. Looking good. And now you have a Stony Sunday question. I do. Uh, the one question I really thought about is like if you could live anywhere else in California other than Santa Cruz, that would be good for like places to buy weed and yeah. places to shop for it. Where would you go other than the Santa Cruz area, the Bay Area? NorCal friends, do not beat me up. Do not beat me up for this answer. I'd probably have to say LA and Southern California. They get some of the biggest names, the biggest brands, like the things that are released first are put into the shops in LA. So in Santa Cruz and in San Francisco, we get some of them. We have some really great brands around our area. But when it comes to like going to any club, just knowing you're gonna get some really cool stuff, I feel like LA has a really good reputation and a lot of clubs per capita. Like you might be able to go and find them. So don't beat me up, North Conference. I feel so bad ever suggesting LA, but in this case, I think it might be the place to go. Nice. <laughs> Thanks for asking and Thank happy Stony Sunday. Happy Stony Sunday. Woo! Thank you. Thank you very much. You won't see the baby. You won't see the baby. Is he a hero? Or is he awesome? I want to treat my 67 year old mother in law who has chronic pain with. I'm here with Jessica of NAC Normal, and she has a couple of questions because she's also interviewing me for their normal page. So, what's your Stony Sunday question? Okay. Did 
we have her PTSD for medical access. And that's not even covered in that's Colorado. That's very yet. exciting. So as much as we would sit there and say Texas isn't there, and Texas doesn't have cannabis safe access, you guys have made so much progress and done so yeah. much. Protecting PTSD and invisible illnesses is a huge hurdle that other medical states still haven't cleared. So I'm really proud of you guys. You guys can do so much more. So don't give up. Keep going. I rely on it. And I'm so proud of you guys for what you guys. Let's just yeah. do it. Let's just spend the money and go. Yeah, so, it's cool. Thank you, Reapers, for buying the merch for the Stony Sunday shirts for the fish for making it possible. It was all of your support that really made it possible to be here. So thank you guys and happy Stony Sunday. <laughs> thank you. Yeah. Our Seventh Amendment right. The Seventh Amendment right says that any matter of a civil suit equaling. I'm here with Russ, who has relaunched his whole showing campaign and is now called the Marijuana Agenda. Yeah. So you are like one of the OG advocates. I thank looked to you for advice of how to get the job done. Yep. So my Stony Sunday question for you is what would be step number one for the reaper out there watching that knows they want to get involved, knows they support legalization? Step number one, what should they do? Where do they go? Well, of course, the first place to start is with yourself. Know yourself, know your story, be honest, talk, act, and be living a, a life of integrity. You know, you can have all the facts, science, reason, and logic in the world, but your story is what you can tell that nobody else can tell. So know your story, and you know, in, in marketing, they call it your elevator pitch. Be able to say your story yeah. in two minutes. Practice that. People like Coral and I, we practice this stuff. That's how we are able to say it every time. So get to know yourself and be confident in yourself. That's true. Verbalizing your story. You may know why it's helped you in this long, thought-out, heartfelt way, but if you can't condense it down to a minute or two, people are going to start walking away. They're going to have to go. They're not going to yeah. hear the importance of it. So practice, practice, and get out there and tell it. That's right. Awesome. Happy Stony Saturday, ha Sunday. Happy Stony Saturday, <laughs> Sunday. <laughs> Let's not let that become, let's not, let's not be dishonest with them, okay? They're already starting to say, man, get a minute the next thing you know, they're going to want to smoke that shit in their garage, you know? That's what they're saying, and you know what? They're right. to say maybe the best shirt of the day and you are here with a stony sunday question so yes. let's find out what is it um have you like baked or done a lot of cannabis cooking or any of those i yep. am so useless in the kitchen <laughs> i get nervous like i am so terrible so i'm really good at like putting dishes away and knowing recipes because i worked in restaurants for seven years yeah. So I really love food and I love knowing more about edibles and I have the magical butter machine because it helped yes. me when I did give it a try. But I haven't like gone back in the kitchen and just done it for the fun of it. I am so useless and awkward in the kitchen. Yeah, I was just going to ask you about the magic butter machine because my friend has got one and <laughs> yes. she makes the best banana bread that I know of. Oh my god, I can only imagine. Because if I can make butter with that thing, honestly, anybody can make butter with it. Butter but we it. just, I'm not in the kitchen very much. I'm super lucky that I have a boyfriend who cooks really good food. So I get kind of <laughs> spoiled and I'm not cooking much at all. But in terms of edibles, we also have such great dispensary access that I feel like I'm not a very good cook. I don't know what I would make as an edible. Mm -hmm. I can walk into the shop and know that I'm getting some really high quality edibles. So I tend to go that route, but highly suggest you make your own if you're in the area that you don't have that safe access. Or if you exactly. really enjoy cooking, bring some weed into it. That's awesome. Exactly. Have you done it? Um, yeah, we used to do a lot of edible gummies. Yeah, those are the best. And they're the easiest to make that I could say of, and you know, especially having like the tincture. Yeah. And, you know, waiting for the little machine just to light up for you. Now it's time to go to mix the jello. Oh my goodness, yes. well that sounds pretty good. I'm definitely hungry. So. <laughs> Happy Stony Sunday. Happy Stony Sunday.
guys enjoyed this episode of Stony Sunday. We didn't smoke a lot in the park, but there were some joints and some bongs here or there. I'm definitely going to have to take a dab now that I am back at the hotel. And I really just want to encourage you guys to get out there, share your story, speak up, and stay high, of course. Subscribe to see more videos from me. Bye, you guys.